to your question. Yeah, come on. Let's talk so about this that. Is, this is what I believe. I said it before. I've seen some games. I've been in them. Um, <laughs> it's the refs, right? Yeah. And that's what you saw. some of my other friends, I won't name their names because they might get upset, but that was their, they was like, oh, a certain ref came to the games during the game. They was like, oh, okay, this, ga- this series is going to extra game. Yes. And, and that's literally what one of my partners told and I'm me. Not, I'm, not, I'm not joining your, your group of, of uh, conspiracy. <laughs> 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 but I remember, man, this some games. Like, I just saw it the other day. You remember when they said Michael Jordan pushed off mm-hmm. uh, um, Byron Russell and then shot the shot? Right. And it was a clear push off. But then they showed a game before that where he was a guy was letting the ball go and had one second to go and it went in and they would have won that game and the ref said it was no good. Like, I, I just, I think now it's way different and harder because the refs and the NBA doesn't like that, so they got that instant replay. Right. Um, that, I guess, works. But I have seen, you know, you got to realize, man, um, Billy Crystal did a, did a whole movie about it. Like, when he was a ref that was just burnt out, like, Sometimes refs don't like you. The refs going to get in the game. Yeah, get personal. Yeah, it gets to a point, man. So I would always blame the refs. Like, I don't even talk to refs to this day. If I see a ref at my daughter's game, I go, yo, don't, t- don't look at me. Because you know, right with my whole thing, I was just like, how do you get a guy to miss a shot unless that's really what he was trying to do? Well, a lot of guys are punk asses, too. And, oh. uh, uh, and pressure makes diamonds. So they are definitely tight-assed. Uh, and and uptight. There's some guys got it, man. Some guy. Got it. Now, I'm gonna say this. There, there's some shots that were missed. I'm not saying, <laughs> <laughs> is, but like when Nick Anderson missed the foul shot and he was playing for Orlando and they could have won that game. Right. You know, he also could have made the shot. It's it's a tight, crazy situation. Nick What's was crazy after that, he ended up having a free throw problem after that. It looked like it really, really yeah. bothered him. That was a cover-up. Yeah. No. That was a cover-up. That was a cover-up. Cover 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 like, just cover-up for years. Yeah, just make sure you just keep missing free throws <laughs> no, from hey this man, point on. <laughs> mental health is serious. And th- this is a trip. Chuck Daly said I had the best mental health, and I didn't understand what he meant. Because he can yell at me. And I didn't care. Like, refs, coach, yell. But, right. All right, man, I missed it. Damn, man, I missed the shot. Uh, okay, he got by me. Yeah, I shouldn't have fouled him. You know, <laughs> I, you know I'm playing the game. All right, I'll get it back next time. I, that's the way I look at it. Man, some, some people, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Like, I, I don't sleep well anyway, but before the game, I, you know, I sleep really well. I nap like crazy. If I can get back to the room and the, and the bus is not to 5.30, and I can be in the bed at, at 1.30 and sleep until 4.45, 5 o'clock, mm-hmm. I'm unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you don't give me a nap, you know what I'm saying, if, and I got to think about you the night before, I'm not, I'm not going to sleep. And now I'm, I'm out of What am I going to eat in the morning? Man, he goes left when he catches the ball, he does this. Like, I always mention Charles Barkley because he was a problem. He was a 6'4 problem, and, and he's going to dunk on you and point at you and talk to you. And right. It was a problem. So Magic Johnson was a problem. For sure. 